and welcome to the Orchid Hut. My name is Dana and I have a bit of a surprise unboxing today but actually it's more like an unbagging. I made a trip to my local home improvement store and oh my goodness they actually had a new shipment of Better Grow Orchids in their plant section. So this is like one of those things that you can't pass up. They're typically very affordable. The larger ones that I purchased were 10 to $12. The smaller ones were five. And you know, it's a great way to sort of expand your, you know, orchid collection, but you know, you don't have to pay shipping if you can buy orchids this way. The only risk is that you can't really see the plant all that well because of how they have it packaged. So it is a little bit difficult to inspect down into the pot and at the base of the plant, but nonetheless, you know, a great way to add to your orchid collection. And if you're into, you know, um, figuring out how to better grow certain species, it's an affordable way to kind of experiment. So we are going to unbag the four orchids that I bought and look at the names and we'll get to inspect them together. Now it is uh, Saturday afternoon here. We are having a thunderstorm. So you may hear the rain downpouring outside. It's about 200% humidity. And you may also hear some thunder. I think uh, we had a uh, kind of like a little cold front move through yesterday and now the darn thing is like backing up back through the Gulf and so it uh, brings rain when it does that. Okay so we're gonna do the small one first and I'm gonna show you uh, the picture that's on the tag because that's uh, easier than like looking them all up online. This uh, says on this tag, <laughs> Spotted Novelty Cattleya Exotic Selection Easy to Grow. Well this is either going to be the best advertisement for Better Grow or not once we see inside. And I have never quite seen anything packaged quite this way. I think I'm going to have to cut the net off at the bottom and go from there. All of the outside orchids are getting a good watering this afternoon. And the thing that I always have to watch out for is that um, it doesn't stay wet and get cool at the same time this year. Okay, so let's see. I cut the rubber band. And, you know, I'm not a fanatic about buying orchids with tags, but it is nice that these Better Grow orchids actually do have tags because it uh, will allow you to research them a little bit so that you can better understand how to care for them. Okay, let's see. This is, oh, it looks like one of my Potinaris. Okay, of course it would have a bit of a messed up tag. Um, it looks like LC Lan something charm and then spotted. So I'm going to need to research that one and when I make the video, if I can find the name, I will add it to the video. Cute little thing. It is as dry as a bone. So I think the first thing that I'll be doing is probably giving this a little bit of water. Um, I'm going to be removing this um, sort of dried shell around the pseudo bulbs. And these will stay uh, in isolation in another place in the house for about seven to ten days just to make sure there's not some kind of unexpected 
uh, mishap with any of them, either in the way of pests or disease. It's grown on from a seedling here, it looks like. Very, very small leaves, and then one, two, and then this would have been the latest new growth. So, you know, kind of a cute little guy. All right, let's put that one aside and move on to the next one. This one is Rhancostylus Vanda, according to the tag. Exotic selection, easy to grow. Well, I'll let them know in about a year <laughs> if it was easy to grow. Okay. Sometimes the label on the outside of the orchid is not quite as specific as what's on the inside, so let's have a look what's on the inside. It says Vanda Costylus. So this is like some sort of intergeneric hybrid between Vanda and Rhinocostylus. The Bloon Velvet times five friendship. That's interesting. Okay, so growing like a Vanda, very much bare-rooted here. Um, a little bit of dehydration on the leaves. I was, I was prepared for this though because the first thing I'm going to do is give this one a drink. I thought I noticed that the leaves were a bit dehydrated. So I'm gonna let this one just sit in some water for a while. Let it give itself a drink. And I'll just set this aside. Okay. Next up. Is a dendrobium. And this is uh, what they call one of the black haired types. It has little fine black hairs on the canes. And this is the first dendrobium of this type that uh, is coming into my collection. I think the name is on the tag. Let's cut the net off. Oh, I see the dreaded sphagnum moss in this pot. It is, this one is a bit damp. The other two the, well, the bare-rooted one was clearly dry, and then the uh, Cattleya type one was also dry. This one is damp because of the moss. Okay. This one says... Ah, Dendrobium Green Lantern. I think this one is a cross between a species and another hybrid but nice blooms and there's moss on top of the pot it kind of looks like moss all the way down in the pot a few little leaves here have been crushed at the bottom where it was packaged but overall you know in in pretty good in pretty good shape it has two strong canes and one smaller one down at the base nice plant okay next one the 
this one, I think, is a primary hybrid. So it's a cross between two species. It's an epidendrum. I have one other epidendrum in my collection, but it's a reed stem type. Okay, so this one is Epidendrum Mabel Canda, Fragrant Flowers. Now that sounds interesting. I love those blooms with the pink and the green mixed together. Very unusual. So all in all, my impression is that this is a pretty nice, inexpensive, relatively, orchid haul. Um, you know, as, no, as long as nothing unusual crops up with these orchids in the way of unexpected problems, we should be able to do well with them. Let's see what the tag says. Interesting. Serena O'Neill, Mabel Conda, Canda, times Cordigera. So, a little bit of research needed on this one. The tag inside doesn't exactly match the tag on the outside. And so it goes sometimes with home improvement store orchids. Okay, well let's have a look. It's got roots coming out of the pot. It's got one Pretty healthy pseudo bulb right here that looks like the latest growth. It has some smaller ones from previous years. But otherwise seems okay. The bark looks a bit tired on top, so this one and the one in the sphagnum moss may be getting a repotting sooner rather than later. I just don't like the look of old and tired bark. That means something down inside could be lurking. Okay. So, wow, if I can get that bloom, that will be pretty spectacular. All right, so overall, I'm happy with my Better Grow Orchid purchase. Uh, these are going to be going into quarantine for about 10 to 14 days or so. And um, maybe you will see them on future repotting videos. Okay, click the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe button will be in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also find me on Instagram under the same name, The Orchid Hut, so please feel free to join me there as well. Talk to you next time. There was a surprise hiding behind the large tag of the dendrobium. As far as the epidendrum goes, I think I'm going to have to wait until it blooms. Is it Mabel or is it Serena?